So I received an email from this guy a little bit of time ago, um, and he's basically saying that he has a problem. So I asked him what his problem was, and it's basically when he brings girls home at night, he has no problem uh, during the makeout, when they're getting close, but as soon as he brings them back home and the pants start coming off, he can't get hard. Um, and this has happened a number of times, and he's actually done the no fab thing. He's done that for months, okay? So, you know, why is this happening? So I, I've, actually, I've actually talked to a lot of guys with this problem where they have done the NoFap and they feel like this is the number one thing that should be curing my erectile dysfunction, um, and it doesn't. So, this is kind of a frustrating thing because that's the, for, for a lot of guys, that's the reason why they get into NoFap in the first place. So, why isn't it working? Well, the simple answer is, is that NoFap doesn't solve all your problems, okay? It solves a lot of them. I think the NoFap movement is a really, really good movement, something that's come out of, you know, all this <laughs> overstimulation we get from the modern day lifestyle. Um, but I think it, it tends to over promise and under deliver for certain areas. Now, if you're having problem getting hard bringing chicks home, there's a reason for this. There's a mental insecurity, there's a confidence issue going on that you need to solve. And it may or may not be related to your masturbation habits. Okay, so obviously I'm not saying that pornography doesn't change your mind. I'm not saying that jerking off a lot affects your stimulation. It does, but it's not the whole picture. The whole picture encompasses everything. So for this type of guy, it was kind of interesting to hear the way he described it. He described it, he was having, he was totally fine with the makeout. He was getting hard when they were making out, um, when they were kind of getting cozy in the club. They were, you know, his dick was doing fine. It was upright. It was ready to go. Um, but as soon as he brought her home and the pants started coming off, that's when things started to happen. Now, obviously, when he taking off, when he's taking off his pants and he's naked and he's showing his dick, there's a little bit of insecurity there. Maybe there's a little bit of nerves happening. And I know he's not the only guy out there where this is happening to. So there's a saying in the pickup community, and there's a saying in like, you know, the dating seduction or whatever you want to call it. And that's that the first time you bring a really hot girl or a girl that you think is really hot home. Um, a lot for a lot of guys, they can't get hard. And the reason why is because they're nervous, they're scared, they're, they've never done this before, and so they don't really feel confident doing it. So how do you get confident in doing something that you've never done um, if you've never done it, you know? Um, it's a really tough place to be because you're nervous that you've never done it and because of that, um, you keep getting nervous. And the more you get in your head, the more it feeds into the anxiety, the more it feeds into the stress and the worse the problem gets. My advice, stop all this, relax, this is totally normal. What you need to start focusing on is you need to start focusing on the things that actually start turning you on. What actually makes you hard? When you think about that sort of stuff, do you feel some blood flowing? Do you feel something happening down there? What sorts of things do you think about where that actually happens? Now, it might surprise you the types of things that um, actually turn you on as opposed to what you think would turn you on because we were all raised to believe um, that we want a certain thing and I think for a lot of guys out there, we're taught to believe that, oh, we want this kind of sex and um, that's enough for us. But it turns out, if you look at actually what this guy was telling me, he said he had no problem getting hard when they were making out when they were close to each other. He likes intimacy, he likes feeling comfort, but he doesn't like to feel shame. And there's a lot of shame that guys have around their dick, there's a lot of shame that guys have around sex that they don't want to approach and they don't want to tackle. Um, we kind of shove that stuff underneath the carpet, we don't really want to talk about it, we don't really ask ourselves these questions, we don't really ask ourselves what turns us on, we just assume it's the same thing that um, you know we've been watching in the pornos or we've been, um, we've been brought up to believe, like, you know, the natural stuff. So ask yourself these questions. And then once you know the stuff that actually makes you horny, the stuff that actually turns you on and gives you that rush and you feel blood flowing to that area, um, then start with those things, okay? I guarantee you, um, for a lot of guys out there, you might be in the same position as this dude where you feel like, oh, I have no problem when we're making out at the club, um, but when I bring them home and the pants come off, nothing's happening. Well, start with that. When you bring the girl home, when you're in that situation, try and make out with them a little bit more. Spend more time doing the sorts of stuff that's actually turning you on, wait until you finally get hard and then move on to the other stuff. So a lot of times guys, they automatically assume that you know they're just gonna be ready to go as soon as they see tits in an ass. <laughs> as soon as the girl's naked, it's gonna happen. There's a lot of psychology going on. There's a lot of moods and women are much more attuned to this than men are, but just because they're more attuned to it doesn't mean that it doesn't happen for men as well. So start asking yourselves these questions 
and start trying to figure out the sorts of, sorts of things that you can start doing in the bedroom um, that's gonna make you more comfortable, that's gonna make you uh, actually get hard, and then you can move on to the stuff that you're nervous about, the stuff that you have a little bit of anxiety over and that you're stressed out, move on to that sort of stuff once you're comfortable. Now, this is gonna take some time. You might need to be seeing someone for a little bit of time for this to happen. The good news is, is that women are very understanding, okay? Most of them, unless they're like, huge bitches, <laughs> um, they're gonna be pretty understanding about this and they're gonna probably be down to work with you through it. They probably have some anxiety about sex as well that they're, you know, that they're dealing with and, and stuff like that. Um, women like to feel comfortable as well. So the more comfortable they feel with you, the more, um, the more they feel like they can relax, the better the sex is gonna be. The same thing for you. Once you start feeling comfortable with the girl, once you start moving on to, to those other things that stress you out, you're gonna be a lot more confident and you're gonna be a lot better in bed. So my recommendation is find those things that turn you on, Think, actually think about it. Um, start doing those things and move on to the stuff that stress you out, that, that's, that actually you know, you're, you're worried about, the stuff that you don't get hard for, move on to there after that and I would recommend that you stick with a girl for a long period of time and when I mean long I mean you're having sex with her multiple times you're seeing her again and again um, to try and figure this problem out once you start getting more confident with your sexuality once you start getting more confident with uh, you know <laughs> with your dick then you're gonna start having a lot more sex and you're gonna start having a lot more fun when you have sex and this won't be an issue for you I remember in my life this was something that used to happen to me now I know when you bring a girl home and that that sort of thing happens you start to kind of worry you start to get in your own head you start to think oh you know is she gonna think my dick is small is she gonna laugh about it you know when she tells her friends or whatever is she gonna think I'm bad is she gonna think I'm doing this that or the other thing wrong try and push all that out of your mind and I know it's really tough at the beginning and I had I had trouble with this too not with one girl but I actually had mine was kind of a interesting situation um, uh, I started bringing I started getting a lot of threesomes so I would bring two girls home and with one girl I was totally fine with but with the second girl being in there I just started to get like a little nervous um, and like I just I it wouldn't happen for me like I wouldn't get hard and if you think you've <laughs> if you think it's bad when you disappoint one girl because you can't get hard try disappointing two girls oh my god it's humiliating <laughs> so what I started to do was I started to focus on the things that uh, actually turned me on which was you know with one girl life that felt more comfortable and more natural for me so what I did was I would focus on a, a one girl for a, a longer period of time, wait for me to start getting hard, um, and then I would move on to the, both girls at the same time or the next girl. Uh, but I would wait till I was a little bit more comfortable with one of the girls uh, till I moved on to the next one. Um, and with that, I was able to build up my confidence and now I have zero problems uh, with threesomes, zero problems getting hard during those types of situations. And I actually just proved that uh, this weekend. So there's a happy ending to these stories. Um, hopefully that's helped. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing and come up with videos like this every single week. Guys, if you still have questions about this, feel free to email me. I don't mind talking about this sort of stuff. It's totally natural. I think when you are comfortable with your sexuality, when you are confident sexually, that's when you can really attract and get the girls that you want in life. Begin with the end in mind. If you don't, if you aren't confident <laughs> with the ending, if you don't have that in mind, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to get to it. And hopefully, your goal is to have sex with an awesome, attractive, hot girl. <laughs> so thanks a lot, you guys, and good luck out there.